down here along this road near this wilderness area and waiting for my good friend Damien to arrive. We're going to do some exploring today, take a journey into these woods, and discover some really interesting places. Stay tuned. Before we're not here, we came across this pond. It may be part of a sinkhole. I'm not sure if it's man-made or what do you think this is, this area? It's really hard to say. But yeah. I feel like it's it's a good bet that it could be a sinkhole or man-made, you know? It's beautiful, though. It's dug up. I, yeah, I don't know. You need to see some more evidence that a uh, man was here maybe doing some mining or something. But, I don't know. Over here is this quarry, and the water is quite blue, don't you think? Yeah, very blue. You think it may be connected to a spring? It very well could be. It's very blue and very clear. It's not often you walk up to something like this and be able to see the bottom. Especially in this part of the wilderness, you don't see a lot of these, no, these not kind of areas. No, not something I'd expect. Yeah, I mean, I def, I think we both know they definitely did some lime, limestone mining here. There's some lime rock right here. Really, a big piece of stone. Big chunk of it. Seeing some gopher tortoises out here. Always nice to see the wildlife. And nice to see you, Damien. Good to be here, man. How you been? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> man, beautiful weather. Perfect hiking weather, right? Yeah, digging it. Not a cloud in the sky. Sun is shining. Nice cool breeze. And today, we're taking a journey into the woods. See what kind of history we can discover along the way and beautiful nature. Looking forward to it. Made our way out to this area of the woods and a band of buses over there. There's a shack just up ahead. Damien, this is an interesting area. What do you think of this place? This is pretty cool. May have been part of a hunt camp at one time. Yeah, I really think that it was probably a hunt camp. I... People were definitely staying out here. We'll, we'll take a look at these buses, but you can see some appliances in there. And there's a shack. There may have been actually more to this site at one time as well, more buildings, but there is a shack over here. So let's take a look around. Someone's staying out here now. Anybody out there? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I would almost call that like a bed cot, right? Some sort of food cot thing. Yeah. Squeeze in here. The floor isn't very stable. So this is a Old shack out here in the woods, just a simple one room shack. Maybe been more to this area at one time, more buildings around here. So, you were calling this the love shack. Yeah. You know something about that? <laughs> <laughs> the lover shack. Interesting building here though. Now there's a fence post there, so this site may have been used in the past for other purposes, but this may have been part of the hunt camp here, don't you think? Yeah. Let's take a walk around to the back of this. You can see where it's been modified over the years, and then the roof has collapsed. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking up the model. Of an F5 Ford pickup truck, pickup truck school bus. <laughs> so I'm using the old Google here. I'm Googling a Ford F5 school bus, 1950s. See if I can pick up any uh, photographs. Wow, this is neat. You can see this wheel. It's really sunken into the ground there. <laughs> That's taken a long time to happen, huh? Yeah. Huh. 
They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> These windows have bars on them. I don't think that's normal, right? Yeah. As you were saying, it's probably maybe a correctional bus. Huh. Could be. Maybe an old prison bus. I don't know. Look at these windows. Now we've got, it looks like we're making out the words Florida. We've got the I, we've got the D, and the A. Can't make out any other words, but being that it's a bus here in Florida, we're going to assume that that's probably it. Then there's something written over here, but huh. I'm going to, I think this is Florida is written here. That almost looks like F L O I. R I D A. Yeah. Florida? Yeah. Here at the back of the bus, you can see some people were staying out here. There's a stove, a refrigerator, a table in there, a mattress frame in that one. Very interesting. You've been staying out here, Damien? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they had it made back in the day when they were here. A nice place. Yeah. Make some hamburger helper after a nice day of hunting. On this old abandoned vehicle out here in the woods. Wonder what kind of model vehicle this is. Toots is the driving cat. <laughs> <laughs> old steering wheel there. Really neat relic from the past. Wonder why these vehicles are out here. Someone just drove them out here, left them. I think it was something along those lines. Serial numbers back then. They may have added that, I don't know. 50s and 40s, I don't know if they had serial numbers. They probably did. Makes sense. They would. So it's interesting seeing these abandoned vehicles out here in the woods and there's nothing else around. It makes you wonder how they got here, who was driving them out here, the history behind them. It's really interesting. Definitely makes you wonder. Good portion of the front of this vehicle is left, but the back of it mostly yeah. is gone. Engine is completely gone. 